This is Marco Vujicic from the ADA Health Policy Institute. This is a quick overview and some select highlights from a new report that the Health Policy Institute has just released, uh, summarizing the latest data on the US dentist workforce. Uh, there are over 80 slides in this full report. Right now, we're just gonna go over very select highlights. You can get the full data and report at ada.org HPI. What we did in this report is update data in four domains, uh, and I'll just give highlights in each of these four. Uh, we look at who makes up the U.S. dentist workforce, how and where do dentists work, how are practicing dentists doing economically, and what does the future dentist workforce look like? Again, very rich data in each of these domains, including time series data, including data state by state. Very, very rich, but let's dive into it. In the first area, in terms of who makes up the U.S. dentist workforce, just a couple key things to highlight. Um, you'll see we, we are nearing the end of a big retirement cliff. This is the age distribution of dentists back in 2017, which is the dotted blue line, and then the most latest data in green. And you see there between 2017 and 2024, we've lost a lot of dentists over the age of 65 to exit in the workforce, retirement, basically. So we had talked a lot about the coming retirement cliff. We we're on the thick of it and nearing the end of this big, big wave of retirements. Uh, so the punchline is the dentist workforce is getting younger fast. It's also having a pretty big shift in male-female composition. Um, just over, over half of dental school graduates today are, are female. And in terms of the workforce data, which we're showing here, about 39% of practicing dentists are female, and you see that steadily up and up and up. Second domain, how and where do dentists work? Here's where we look a lot at practice modality, um, things like uh, the emergence of DSOs and group practice. Um, and again, we look at this at various career stages. Here's just a quick example of some of the data we summarize. About two in three dentists are in some form of group practice, uh, meaning anything other than solo practice. Um, and you can see here uh, the, the distribution of, of the size of practices dentists are working in. So for example, um, these data show that about 11% of practicing dentists are in practices with 100 or more locations. And as noted, about 34% are in solo practice. This varies significantly by career stage. If you look at the top bar, this is dentists with more than 26 years of experience. So these are very late, well, late, late-ish career, late career dentists. You see they are overwhelmingly um, in, in different, well, they're in different practice modalities compared to the bottom bar, which is dentists who are up to 10 years uh, out of dental school. So for example, again, you go to the top, 48% of late career dentists are solo practitioners. If you go to early, early career dentists, that's only 15%. And the converse, much, much more prominence of very large group practice among newer dentists in the workforce. So one of the themes, again, is that the newer generation of dentists is in fundamentally different practice modalities than the generation before it. As mentioned, we do a lot of analysis. You'll see several nice maps and, and trends by state. In this case, just as an example, we look at state-by-state -state data in terms of the prevalence of DSOs. So these data are the share of dentists who are affiliated with a DSO. And you can see the darker states uh, have higher shares of DSO affiliation. Um, you can study this in detail. Um, we also show this for career stage as well. Um, and we also include things like the share of dentists who participate as Medicaid providers, you see significant variation by state there. Again, just highlights examples of what we're showing in this new data release. Uh, next area to cover is how are practicing dentists doing economically. Here we give the latest update on hours worked, dentist net income, gender differences between income and hours worked, lots of rich information. Punchline is GP dentist net income is declining. It's also declining among specialists. Um, it's declining for early career, late career, similar trends, obviously different levels of income, similar trends over time. Um, you can go study this further. Uh, also retirement age, work span. So we, we summarized the latest data there. 
Um, dentists are working longer into their lives and retiring later. Uh, that's definitely one of the, the, the facts and data points we present. And lastly, what does the future dentist workforce look like? Here we talk a lot about, obviously, we're at record number of dental school graduates and enrollment numbers. So definitely the pipeline is expanding. As I mentioned earlier, we're through the heart of that retirement cliff, that big bulge of dentists retiring. So we are predicting still that the dentist supply per population is gonna start increasing um, in the coming years, very shortly in the next few years, after a period of stability as we work through that big, big exit numbers due to retirements of baby boomer dentists. So we're well on our way to more dentists per capita in the US according to our modeling. Again, due to the slowdown of that big retirement bulge, as well as record number of enrollees and graduates coming out of dental school. So big picture takeaways, and again, very big picture. The U.S. dentist workforce is growing. It's becoming younger, more female, more racially and ethnically diverse. I didn't present those last data on, on diversity, but you can go see those. Um, second, an increasing share of dentists are in group practices and DSOs. Uh, practice ownership rates are lower among young dentists, but we have new data that shows that most dentists eventually become practice owners. So what we think is happening is practice ownership is just becoming significantly delayed rather than no longer an option for young dentists. So that's an important point we highlight in the report. Dentist earnings are down. Again, that's due to the, the fiscal squeeze we've called it in, in our HPI reporting. Practice, practice expenses outpacing revenues. At the same time, dentists are working more hours. They're also retiring later um, and basically have a longer career span. Looking ahead, we're nearing the end of a retirement surge among baby boomer dentists. The supply of dentists we're projecting uh, to start increasing again, and that's per capita, um, as we see record number of dental school graduates. And again, new graduates are fundamentally practicing in different modalities than previous generations. So that's it in terms of big picture overview. You can look at all the details at ada.org HPI, and thanks for your listening.